we meet in God's name, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to our Fed Eucharist for this weekday as we follow the last days of Trinity Tide. We listen to the readings today and we hear St. Paul talking to the Ephesians in very military terms. But of course we're not talking about going into battle with swords and shields of ordinary military type. We're talking about spiritual welfare and our own welfare and our own Christian lives applied in those terms. So let us ask God to bless us to understand what these different scripture readings mean today. And in the Gospel reading, again, we hear Jesus who is, again, threatened, suffering, actually challenged, as he was throughout his life. And let us use that as a type for ourselves that we may follow him closely in all our days. So let us pray together, asking God to open our hearts and minds to both the scripture and to the gift of his sacrament as we spiritually receive Holy Communion this morning. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in both word and sacrament, let us sit or kneel or sit quietly for a moment and call to mind and confess our sins. In the midst of confusion and doubt, we find your grace, O God, and discover your eternal love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. There is none but you to uphold our cause when our sin cries out and our guilt is great. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Reach out to us, O God, and we shall be healed. Restore us and we shall sing your praise. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so to the colic for this, the last week of Trinity Tide, let us Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. We attend to the readings. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, 
against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. This is the word of the Lord. <coughs> the response to the psalm is... I will sing a new song to you, O God. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers for battle. I will sing a new song to you, O God. My steadfast help and my fortress my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. I will sing a new song to you, O God. You that give salvation to kings and have delivered David your servant, save me from the peril of the sword and deliver me from the hand of foreign enemies. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came and said to Jesus, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen, I am casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow. 
and on the third day I finish my work. Yet today, tomorrow and the next day I must be on my way because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed away from Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you were not willing to. See, your house is left to you. And I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Now I speak in God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. You know, there's nothing very easy or light about the words we've heard today. The author of Ephesians speaks in military terms of the battle that still faces us despite Christ's victory. And in the gospel we hear of plots against the life of Jesus and in his own words of his awareness that like the prophets he will face lethal opposition in Jerusalem. But Jesus knows his fate. He is compelled to go there. But he is compelled to go to his death. In very serious terms, the readings stress how weighty, how significant is all that we do. By the cross and resurrection, Christ has conquered the powers of evil. But they, the powers, know, and we should know, that they are doomed. But here and now they retain enough strength to test us. And this is the point, that throughout our lives we shall be tested, just as Jesus was tested time and time again. How many times have we heard over these past few weeks Jesus being challenged and attacked by those who thought they knew better, but really didn't understand at all? Paul also faced a battle. He says, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel and prayed for the courage to speak as I must. Now that may be a battle for all of us in some sense or in many senses. I know many of us, including myself at times, find it difficult to just open up and speak about how our faith is so important to us to courageously let the world know around us that we are believers in the God of love, the God of compassion, and the God of righteous justice. There are, as we all know, many other skirmishes or hazards that we have to face in daily life, many of them personal. We may have to control our anger or our tongues our desires, perhaps battles against laziness or indifference, against discouragement and hopelessness at times. And there are many, many other aspects which I'm sure you know and I certainly know I despair of sometimes in myself. Well, we are well armed, or perhaps to get away from the military terms, we're well equipped, we're well gifted, So, and we need to bring this to mind time and time again. What gifts do we have? And if we put our faith in God, what gifts might we find as well? Ephesians describes the armour that we all have by our life in Christ. And when you take those military terms away of swords and shields and the whole battle image, what are we ended up with? What are those words that remain? Truth, justice, zeal, faith, and love. Now we're ready for the tests of daily life. 
and each sharing at this altar here encourages us to go out conscious of new hope and new courage. As we leave this service this morning, having spiritually received the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, so I hope you feel strengthened and feel that you are challenged again to go out and to trust in God and to make sure that you actually speak out knowing that you are equipped by Christ with the Holy Spirit. The strength of our faith in Christ serves to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. At times we may not actually hold on to that hope very strongly, but let's try to do so today and remember that, that at times of trial, as with Jesus Christ, we will be supported, God will be there for us, and we will be strong in our faith. May that be so for all of us this day and in the coming weeks. Amen. And so now we bring ourselves to our prayers of intercession in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church throughout the world that we may be equipped with strength and with determination and with joy to go out into the world, taking the message of hope and of our faith to others. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop, for Krista and Richard, our bishops, for Simon, our Archdeacon, and Rachel, our Area Dean. We pray for the Deanery of Merton, and we pray especially for the Mission Group Ministry, for St. Barnabas, St. Olav, St. Mark, and this, the parish church of St. Peter and St. Paul. We ask, Lord, that you will equip all of us to be strong advocates for our wonderful faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the world, many parts of the world which are caught up in conflict, strife or war. We pray that the Prince of Peace, our Lord Jesus Christ, may be present in those situations and bring reconciliation. We pray, Lord, for all leaders of the nations, that they may lead their countries wisely, with compassion, with justice and with love. On this wet and miserable day, we pray especially for those who go without a roof over their heads. We pray for all those projects which seek to make homeless people's lives that little bit better. We pray for the Faith in Action project on Kingston Road. We pray for the YMCA. We pray for the food banks in this area. And we give thanks for all the volunteers who seek to make people's lives a little better during this time of the coronavirus outbreak. Lord, we thank you for the gifts of love shown in so many different ways. Use us as your vessels too to express that love to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring before you those who are sick or suffering in any way, in body, mind, or spirit. We name especially Catherine Payne Gray, Sita Onungkwa, Andrew McNinn, Jesse Willoughby, Amir Gill, Deborah Chapman, Joyce Nelson, Michael Oy, Dylan Long, Robert Willer, and Barbara Atkins. In a moment of silence, we pray for those who we carry in our own hearts this day. Lord.
God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died recently. Amongst them, Geoffrey Nwoski and Matilda Slater. We pray for those whose year's mind falls about this time, giving thanks for their life and their witness. And as Remembrance Day approaches, we become mindful of all those who have suffered as a consequence of war. Rest eternal grant them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves, asking your blessing upon us this day. Bless us with insight into how strong and determined our faith can be. Give us grace to realize that we are empowered by your Spirit and give us confidence to go out knowing that you are ever with us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Amen. And so to the people. We are the body of Christ in the one spirit. We were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and build up our common life. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's share a sign of peace if we were somebody else in the household. Otherwise, let's just spend a moment of time praying for those who we know would generally be around us at this time. Peace to you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. 
so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you he broke it and gave it to them saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me same way after supper he took the cup and again he gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Jesus Christ is Lord Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of mary the mother of god peter paul and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. our Saviour has commanded and taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Jesus, 
Behold, Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. God of all grace, your Son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us in. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen indeed. Well, another warm welcome to you for coming you're very welcome here at Mitcham Parish Church here this morning. It's good to have you with us again. This coming Sunday is All Saints Day, so at 10 o'clock we will be celebrating the Festival of All Saints um, with due ceremony, quietly, as it were. So we hope you'll be here then. And then, of course, on the 2nd of November, always there is the remembrance of All Souls Day. There will be a service here in church, additionally, at 7.30 in the evening, where, which will be a communion service. A requiem will be said, and it will be a communion service, and there will be an opportunity for people to light candles during the service in memory of those who they have loved but lost. There will also be an online service. Watch this space. We'll let you know what time that is going to take place actually next Sunday. So just reserve some time on Monday, if you can't come to church, to take part and watch that service as well. We look forward to welcoming you and being in touch with you, however we keep in touch at the moment. And meanwhile, every blessing for the week ahead. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.